a life sentence. Schools in North Andover, Massachusetts are doing their part to raise awareness about obesity, but how they're doing it is making some parents rather angry. One fourth grader who received a so-called fat letter says he isn't phased. I know I'm not obese, so I didn't really care about the letter. I just couldn't put it up. No one wants to get a letter being told that they're obese. That's a, a very strong, uncomfortable word. And, uh, you know, we just didn't see it fitting with our son, you know, who's very active. He's very strong. His mother, a select woman in North Andover, is working with state representatives to stop the so-called fat letters. Yeah, I would think, as a parent of four kids, that that would not be helpful. Well, look, they do these tests in the school, including the you know body mass index, take weight, well, you know the height and weight, and they send the results home. No, I, I get which it. Which is what they do, it's and the parents read it as a. But if you're a little boy, he's going to shoot up about you know two feet in the next two years. And, you know, just I don't think that's helpful. If the goal is to make kids thinner or more healthy, that is a bad strategy. Just having the information about someone's body mass index right, right matter. If, if the school is taking tests on my kids, I'd like to know the results of the tests. Uh, yes, in a way that's helpful, right? It's not enough to know you failed math. You have to figure out where your weaknesses are. It's not enough to know your BMI is 92. Well, you need to you figure out... Well, you need, you need to be able to... What are you going to do with that information? That's up to you as a parent. Are you arguing parenting with uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> All right, got to take a break. Still ahead on starting point.